We will now try to work through example 1. The example can be seen over here to the right. It is an anchored sheet pile wall anchored in level minus 1 where also the water table is found. The surface behind the wall is loaded with a uniformly distributed variable load. The design value is 22.5 kN per square meter and the ground surface is found in level plus 0.5. The seabed on the front side is found in level minus 6.0. On both sides of the wall and great depth, the substrata consists of sand with a characteristic angle of shearing resistance of 33, a dry unit weight of 18.3 kN per cubic meter, and a saturated unit weight of 19 kN per cubic meter. This is what we need to put into spooks to find here the maximum driving depth, the anchor force, and the maximum moment in the wall. We can assume that this wall will fail with one yielding. We have spooks open here on the other side of the screen and we'll start a new project. Then we have to put in all the information from the example into spooks. So we start by filling in the calculation method. We know that it's an anchored wall and it is going to fail with one yield hang, so we choose failure mechanism B over here. Press OK to continue. We need to put in information about the top of the wall. We can see over here in the example that the ground surface is in level 0.5 and that is what we're going to put in to the program. Press OK to proceed. Then we need to give input about the stratification. The stratification is sand on both sides. And there's no angle of the ground surface on either side, so these should be kept as zero. On the back side of the wall, the ground surface is in 0.5. The dry unit weight is 18.5, the saturated is 19, the cohesion is 0 because in this case we have the sand, the angle of shearing resistance is 33, the gradient is 0 because we have no ground water flow, and the roughness is set to 1 because we have sand. On the front side, the ground surface on the, of the front side is in level minus 6 and the other input parameters are the same as for the back side because the material on the two sides are the same. After this input is given, press OK. We need to give information about the water level. The water level can be seen over here in the example, it is found in level minus 1 on both front and back side. Next step is to put in loads. On the front side we don't have any load, this is kept as 0. On the back side we have a load of 22.5 and that load affects a wall in level 0 0.5. So this is correct press OK. Then we need to give input about the partial coefficients. The partial coefficient for the C factor is not important because C is 0. The partial coefficient for angular shearing resistance is indeed 1.2 and should be kept as that. For the surface load we have already given input about the design value and we therefore choose the partial coefficient to be 1. Uh, to not introduce a larger load than we already have. Then we need to give input about the anchor. The anchor is placed in level minus 1. And then press OK. We could put in project data. Um, 
this is optional, but it's okay to give information about. And then we can check the units. We choose here to accept the default units, which we normally will do. Now we have given all the input and we are ready to perform the calculation. Press calculation and then calculate. And Spooks will calculate the sheet power wall. When this sentence down here close this does want you to continue Spooks for Windows, this scene you can press the X button and the results appear. Here we can see the graphic results. We can see drawn on the sketch where the anchors, we can see the water level, we can see the ground surfaces, we can see the soil pressure distribution marked with black here on the back side and marked with blue on the front side. We can see the moment distribution curve here with red and we can see information down here in the bottom about the anchor force the maximum moment and the maximum driving depth. We can also check the result further by showing the text result. The text results are shown here. We can check that the input that we gave is the correct one. So we can check the set values for the stratification, we can check the gradients, we can check if safety is introduced correctly, we can check the water levels, we can check the loads, the partial coefficients, all that is able to be checked in this text result. If we scroll further down, we can down here find information about the soil pressure distribution. The soil pressure is calculated all the way down in the different levels, both on the front and the back side. Um, and over here you can see where the soil pressure is calculated, so you can see the level of the pressure jump. Uh, you can find the yielding, uh, you can find the halfway jump uh, under the yielding and the foot of the wall. All this information is available in the text file. But the main information can also be seen down here in the text file. This is the information that we need to design our sheet pile wall further. And this is where we find the answers to the questions asked in the example.